Firstly, pray, take this. Tis a regalia sword. Tis my duty to guard it. Yet, I have stolen it from the masquerade hall where twas on display. A duplicate now rests in its place. And I must beg you to keep the true artifact hidden. Generations of Amundian rulers have wielded it. Though not in battle, of course. Tis a ceremonial weapon for use in parades and the like. Yet, Deesa's disdain for tradition has seen the blade suffer. Tis fractured and has lost much of its former luster. Captain Brandt is of a mind to restore it, so that it might serve as a symbol of your authority, Sir Arisen. Indeed, when the time comes for you to announce your ascension, having this sword at your hip would doubtless elevate your standing in the eyes of the people. And I must confess, having watched over the blade for many a year, I've grown rather fond of it. I should be well glad to see it restored to its former splendor by your hand. My hopes for our kingdom and its treasure go with you, Sir Arisen. Look at it all! This'll last us a good while. You've my gratitude. Brocker, we've got more glimmer coal. Now we can reignite the forge. Tisn't the forge what needs igniting, girl, but your fool ears. I've told you my smithing days ended when those monsters moved in. I've no use for glimmer coal anymore. I'm done. I'll not hear another word about that rusted hunk of steel. If you're so keen to have it repaired, then see to it yourself. Oh, I was certain he'd pick up his tools again if we only had more glimmer coal. My apologies for putting you to all that trouble, sir, but mayhap your efforts needn't go to waste. I could try my hand at repairing that sword for you. If the way I see it, if old Brock is the only smith with the skill to see it done, then I'm your best hope, being as I'm his apprentice and all. Well, what say you? I'm grateful for your trust, sir. You'll soon see your faith was well placed. Um, mayhap not soon as twere. I fear I'm a novice in the truest sense. But I'll see it done all the same. You have my word. Mark me. This blade will be shining like a star by the time I'm finished with it. Sir Sara is apprentice to the legendary dwarven blacksmith. There's no doubt in my mind that she will succeed. I'm grateful for your trust, sir. You'll soon see your faith was well placed. Um, mayhap not soon as twere. I fear I'm a novice in the truest sense. I'll be needing some time. So you'll be bringing me out here anon? Knowing that the patterns on the sword were the work of a blaze hammer complicates matters somewhat. Suppose I'll sleep on it. Mayhap the ants will come to me on the morrow. How could that whelp fail to recognize the distinctive traces of a blaze hammer? Ah, but it's what she does next that really counts. It's the only place with enough heat, see? Since you're the one who inspired this nonsense, you'd best go find her and bring her back in one piece, lest I ring my hammer against that hollow shell you call a skull. If tisn't the arisen, come to check up on me, have ya? Well, I'm faring just fine. In fact, I've done it. All that's left is to get this to the forge outside the cave. I hope you're ready, arisen, as there's not a moment to spare. Boop. Make haste for the cave exit. It isn't commonly rare, this. I look forward to informing my own master of its finding when I return beyond the rift. We're doing well so far. Already halfway there. 
all scalded hot. Let's strive to keep it that way. Heed your senses. If Ord feels out of place, it could very well be a trap. Remain alert, and naught shall catch us by surprise. Heat's dwindling fast. We've made it out at last. Good on you for keeping up. Right, now to do what I came here for, then it's back to the smithy for the finishing touches. Buffoon! Where have you been? Brocker! Sorry, I... There's no time for apologies, girl. We've got to get that blade on the anvil, lest the blaze hammer's treatment be for naught. You're the first apprentice of mine with the gumption to do aught like this. You got the blaze hammer work done, and... but the hardest part's what comes next. I'll walk you through what's needed, though I dare say it is one of the few lessons I've left to teach you. You've proven yourself this day, Sarah. You're the one fit to carry on my techniques and this smithy. Uh, come in, Brocker. Hi, Arisen. I've been waiting for you. Here it is. Your regalia sword. Looks newly forged, doesn't it, eh? Brocker had me working on it for hours. Got nary a wink of sleep. But owing to that. Me thinks it turned out real fine. I only hope you're pleased with it. Tis as much your success as mine. So much has changed for me since you first brought that sword to the smithy. I feel as if I'm finally on the path to becoming a blacksmith in my own right. Thank you, sir, for all you've done on my behalf. Well met, Sir Arisen. Might I inquire as to what's become of the Regalia Sword? So this is how the sword looked in its glory days of yore. Tis splendid to behold. I thought the blade ought to be restored for its history, but seeing it like this, I feel it means something more. Something grey. Give my thanks to the blacksmith who repaired it. Tis fine work she has done. Impeccable, I should say. And you, Sir Arisen. You have my sincerest gratitude. You have breathed life anew into one of our kingdom's most sacred treasures. I can imagine no worthier symbol of a sovereign's majesty. I await the day it shall adorn your noble hip with bated breath. 